Before we go to the video, I would like to give you a little bit of background information about why we started vlogging in the first place. About a week after Nola left us, we started filming for our vlogs. We wanted to start something new in honor of her. So all of our vlogs will be dedicated to Nola. Hello, beautiful you. We are Lisa and Yogo, and we live in our camper van with our two girls, Rumi and Yuki, and our three boys, Otis, Mosey, and Sunny. We live in the south of Portugal, and the most important thing in our life is freedom, and we absolutely love living close to nature. We would like to take you with us whilst building a self-sustainable life with gardening, creating a food forest, wild picking, and much more. Above all, we hope to inspire you with our biggest passion, rescuing animals. We believe that every creature deserves a chance in life and we cross paths to help each other. Please subscribe to our channel to follow our journey in happiness. Hello beautiful you, welcome to our first ever vlog. We will show you the start of our gardening project and we will build a yurt. Here you can see Diogo taking the inside out of the cork oak logs and this is what we use to make our soil more fertile. I will show you this in a second. We hope you enjoy watching this video. We chose to have our beds halfway into the ground. So Diogo is preparing it and taking out all the dirt and then the logs that you can see right in the front will come inside the hole basically. It's been really hard to dig here because the ground is so hard. But, uh, you know, with the pickaxe, there they are. No hard grounds, you know. Oh, yeah. Right now, I'm moving the dirt that I moved with the pickaxe. And we're moving it into the circle. I don't know if you can see it. We will build up a herb spiral over there with the excess dirt. Hey, Lisa, what are we doing here? So I'm digging a little pond, which is so hard. But um, the pond will be here and then we build up the herb spiral around it like that. What uh, does this herb spiral gonna have? What kind of herbs? So we already have the nice rosemary here, which is actually next to the herb spiral. But I would like to have some really good lavender in it as well, but also some basil and parsley and just some herbs that we really use a lot. All right, sounds good to me. We are on our way to our friends and neighbors because they are going to put the yurts up and we are going to help them. It's a really nice walk, it's about 20 minutes and um, yeah, we are surrounded by sheep. Like you can see them in the back here. I'm not sure if you can see them by the sun though. And Rumi is here as well, over there. And this is a really good ultimate test <laughs> to test if she's going to stay with us and listen instead of chasing the sheepies. So she's doing really well so far. Romy, come. We are preparing the scaffolding now. It goes around this platform and then we build it up from there. And look who's here. Are you waiting nicely? Well done. We did bring her Kong, if you can see over there. I have peanut butter and treats. But she's not having it. She just wants to be with us, but it's too difficult. <laughs> we are getting more things off the yurt. We start with the walls, I think. That's how you start. And then we put the middle and all the beams on top of it. But I will 
try and show you and <laughs> explain how it works a little bit. We've never done it before as well, so it's a first. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You can even dig through it next time. No. Yeah? Not me. Too much? Yeah, Those are the walls. And more over here. That's what you start with. The person who owns the yurt and who is also going to live in it is Mike, the gentleman in the hat. It's his dream to live in a yurt and we love helping people with such an amazing dream. The only thing was that all three of us had zero, zero experience building yurts. So we looked through the boxes and looked for things we might need. We watched lots of YouTube videos for tips and tricks. But we also just used our logic. We decided to start with the walls. And over here we are deciding the height of them. Because they fold you can make them in different heights. Eventually they sort of slide together like a puzzle. And first they didn't work and we had to swap some walls around. But then they did slide together and we could knot them down. We tried to do that on the floor first, but that didn't work really well. So we put them up and then we knotted them down like this. Soon we had three walls up and that was a really good start. This really is the most tricky part, to puzzle them together. You got it already? Wow! It was a lot faster than the, than the other one. Well done. It's not that I'm not helping, I am helping by holding it. <laughs> You're the building inspector, Rumi. An amazing lunch. <laughs> it looks really good. I love it. <laughs> this is the dome, which is the center of the yurt. It is two meters wide. And for me, this really was the most scary part of building the yurt. With all that weight on the top, I was so scared that it was going to fall over. I was holding on to it for dear life. That's what we got up to yesterday, but then it got too dark, so we had to stop. But time for day two. Yoko's already there. Rumi is all the way in the end already. She was very keen. <laughs> but yeah, let's make it a good day and hopefully finish the whole year today. We are taking a little break because it's not all straight and we need more help. I didn't put any makeup. No, but the vlogging life is without makeup. Raw. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, we hope you liked it and if you did, please like and subscribe, that will help us so much. We see you in the next one, bye bye!